apprehension. I think really the, the, the short history of time that um, we should not um, avoid confronting is the one that goes on the left from absolutely nothing. And I don't mean um, just empty space or a vacuum. I mean absolutely nothing, whatever that is, to dead flat space time. That is the long term distant future of the universe. And what is really astonishing, I think, is that um, God, if he actually made this journey, made such a fuss about getting there because the line here that um, conceals just about everything, the emergence of the, the formation of the solar system, the uh, um, photosynthesis, uh, the election of George Bush, whatever, um, is such a meal going from absolutely nothing to dead flat space time. And so if people think that there is a purpose in the universe, then I'm afraid this diagram um, gives them at least some pause, I hope. But I think that what physicists should consider before they think about eternity is the properties of nothing at all. And um, I, I think it's not an inconceivable problem to think about what could possibly come of nothing without intervention. And um, a couple of decades ago, I, in fact, did write a, a book which included a chapter in exploring how one could go from absolutely nothing into what appears to be a state of being. But obviously what I said was total nonsense. But it, it, um, I, I think it is not inconceivable that in the future we will have, we will know the properties of absolutely nothing and be able to see how something emerges. And I will elaborate a little bit on that as I get towards the end of my, whatever it was, 50 minutes. <laughs>